You know, it was 2002 when this guy, Casey Weathington, died from a drug overdose. Now, 19 years later, a law named in his honor will actually have a chance to be used. WCPO 9 News reporter Lisa Smith shows us how a Hamilton County judge is stepping in to make sure families of drug addicts can intervene. Basically, we streamlined the law and made it easier for families and friends to get help for their loved ones. Judge Ralph Winkler making major steps in the Hamilton County Probate Court so that Casey's law can be used. Charlotte Wethington is Casey's mom. It doesn't matter if there's a law on the books. If nobody knows about it, then it's, it's not helping anyone. Casey's law is named after the young Kentuckian who died from a heroin overdose 19 years ago. The law allows parents or other loved ones to intervene and petition the probate court to involuntarily place a family member into drug or alcohol abuse treatment if it appears they are in imminent danger to themselves or others. People are at the end of their rope. They don't know where to go. They're convinced that their loved one's gonna die. And unfortunately, we know in cases that happens. But the original version of the law was burdensome. State lawmakers made changes in April that, for example, allows private insurance or Medicaid to cover much of the treatment costs versus paying it up front. And there's less paperwork. Now, Judge Winkler's courtroom is the place to go to begin the process. Terry Smith says before getting help was tough. I remember sitting down with law enforcement and saying, what can I do? I'm, I'm scared, I'm terrified for all of us. And the officer said, until they hurt someone or hurt themselves, there's nothing you can do. Under the program, a loved one can petition the probate court, which will work with an addiction specialist to determine if intervention and treatment are needed for a minimum of 90 days. Let them know this process is streamlined. Let them know I'm here to help and let them know we have options. Lisa Smith, WCPO, 9 News.